Customer purchases a software license, they will receive an email that looks something like this. It has information about the sales order number, what specific software license they ordered, the quantity of them, and so on. It also provides links directly to our onboarding site, as well as directions on how to activate those licenses. Now to activate the licenses, what they'll want to do, right? You can even click on this activate license. It'll actually just bring you to a quick right, information that shows you Right, they're getting the activation code, downloading the software. So all that information is here. But what they'll want to really go to right, is this Juniper Agile License Portal. From the Agile License Portal, they can put in their email address. And here we're going to act as a customer here named Cornelius Customer at gmail.com. So we will log in here as this kind of temporary account. And you'll notice here under my product license, my entitlements, I'm looking for this P1 license for the SRX 345. Notice here I'm gonna go into activate. That'll give me now the option to activate one of these licenses. I'll select all versions of software. I'll put in the serial number, which should be CZ1616AF0070. Just an example one here. Get add in any notes, right, like SRX branch one agree i'll put in my email address for this to be emailed to whoop, at juniper.net and click activate mm -hmm. now that this license has been activated we can download it or again email it and let's get a simple license file so we can go ahead and save that if you're ever curious what those license files look like, or is what that license key will look like. Now, once they have the license key, you'll want to take that and apply it to the SRX. So here, we're just going to use JWeb. Notice right here when you first log in, you can see things like the serial number, the host name, and right? also in the getting started guide over here, that little walkthrough, you also see manage your licenses. So we can either click here, or if you go under device administration, license management. So once you get to the license management page, you'll want to go ahead and add those licenses. And we'll just click add here. And then your two options are going to be either to add by just pasting in the license key text, or you can uh, put in the URL file if it's located on a web server. So we'll hit OK. This will add the demo licenses I've added here. And then we can see once we get back to this license man management page, then an IDP license has been added, one for antivirus and also one for web filtering. So now, I, now the next step would be to go and actually get those configured.